Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative is speaking to Robbie Ramos about Heels, which is debuting August 15th on Stars. Welcome to the show, sir. It's good to see you. Thank you, brother. I love the energy, dude. I'm, I'm happy a, to be here. I'm excited to chat with you. Now, you guys had the premiere. It was awesome. You guys were all dressed up. You did an yeah. interview, so I was going to ask you this anyway, but I know the answer to this. Um, I was a huge pro wrestling fan growing up. Wasn't the case uh-huh. for you. You weren't into it as much before signing on to this project. Kind yeah. of a little bit of a pivot question, though. After working on this project, did you get into it a little bit more and were more curious about the world of pro wrestling? I, yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt, no doubt. I have a I have a love for it now. You yeah. Know? Um, I um I went to a show actually, the an AEW show down here in, in Florida where I'm at, and um and it was it was exciting, bro. It was yeah. it was really cool to see the fans, man, and just and just how into it they get um with these characters. And then I had a friend of mine, Michael Ferrero, there. Yep. Who's a huge wrestling fan. And, and so he was kind of, he was feeding me all the storylines. He was like, you know, this guy, <laughs> this is what happened. And that's why he's, he's behaving like this. And then this guy, oh, but that's his finishing move. And that's, so he was filling me in on everything, dude. And I loved it, bro. I loved it. Uh, it was, uh, I was super impressed by, by the whole show. Um, talking to, you know, Alan and Allison Luff as well, although Allison wasn't a wrestler in heels. I mean, they did a yeah. lot of kind of watching documentaries and past tapes and everything. Was that like you as well? When you, when you got the role of Diego Cottonmouth, was that kind of a little bit, did you do a lot of research and look at the tapes and stuff? I did. I yeah. did, man. And, and, you know, and for me, so Allison, I, yeah, Allison and Alan both had a lot of prep time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Because what ended up happening was COVID and then they pushed back shooting and all this stuff. I had a week, dude. <laughs> so I found out I found out in um I think it was the first week of August, right? We're we're running up on a year now that, that I found out I, I had booked the show and then I had to be in Atlanta mm-hmm. August sixteenth. Okay. And so so it was it was a quick turnaround, dude, and it was like, you know fire it up and go man and so uh and i was down here in florida at the time because of the pandemic too so uh i drove up to atlanta and and on that drive up you know i listened to, to as many things as i could I, I tried to take in as many as many um um uh different uh, you know forms of content of, of wrestling that i could but mostly i wanted to see people live doing it you know yeah i wanted to see the wrestlers in the ring and see you know maybe some things i could steal from them or or whatever so so that's what i did man yeah absolutely this is more of kind of a statement and a com uh, like a comment that i'd like you to kind of chime in on rather than a question but okay. i mean we're not going to go into super big spoilers be- um but you know i i got a chance to watch the show i loved every minute of it um people are going to be able to see it and understand what i'm talking about the show really captures the grind of pro wrestling like the grind is like 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 front right and center in this show yeah dude it's it's mind-blowing bro yeah it's really mind-blowing because you know again coming to it from a personal place i'm a theater actor primarily yeah in new york and and i spent you know close to a decade over there like just grinding right yeah now add to that grind of trying to be an actor uh, the physical demands on the body that the wrestler has to take. Yeah, it's it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. That's why I have nothing but respect now, man, for for the whole profession. Absolutely. Um, All star cast, top to bottom. Like you had a chance yeah. to work with some f- phenomenal people on this yes, project. Um, what was that like? Kind of taking it all in and going to the premiere and seeing everyone again. I mean, has it hit you that you were able to work with that amazing cast and crew? It, it was a dream, dude. Yeah. It was a dream, and I and I so hope we get to do it again. Um, mm. You know, these are people that I've seen on TV uh, this whole time. I've been grinding in the acting world, right? So yeah. for the past decade, I've been watching these people on screen, you know, and to now be working with them, it's truly an honor, dude. Somebody yeah. like Michael Malley, who's the showrunner uh to, so to good dude and he kills it on screen too like i'm sorry like he's so good 
Bro, he's so good, man. He's so good, and and he's such a talented guy. But then he's also such a generous human being, you know. And being the showrunner, he's really our leader uh, yeah. on set. Um, and so it, it was it was it was invaluable to have somebody like him and somebody like Pete Siegel, who's done so many movies that I've watched. Incredible, yeah, so good, dude, crazy. And usually on a TV show, man, it's like you don't really get a director who's who's directing six out of the eight ep- uh, episodes. Yeah. And then let alone a director like Pete Siegel. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, it, 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 I, I mean, I just I feel completely grateful about the whole experience, dude. Absolutely. I'm really excited to chat about this part, porn, uh, thing that I want to talk about because this has to do with your character. And this is going to be coming out on Sunday when the the episode airs. So they're going to be able to see because this happens in the first episode. I love how your character explains why you have a luchador mask. Like, I love (laughs) that. Like, that is like, you know where I'm going with that, right? Like, I love that, man. It's so, you give like the context. Like, you explain everything about the character (laughs) in like one dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like? wearing the mask i just want to know about that man the mask is um because it's on social media I, like it's not a spoiler or anything like there's no, clips no, online like that. you wear the mask <laughs> no 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 there's no spoilers here dude pete's doing a good job here, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh no the mask is is um it, you know it's tight dude it's hot I, I don't know how these guys do it man i um you, you know 15 minute match or something like that i don't know how they do it yeah. um i have really no idea but uh, for me, it, it takes a little getting used to it. And then I had the beard too, which is yes. actually longer than than my beard is right now. So it would come out the bottom of the mask. I mean, dude, it was it was it's a little bit brutal, bro. But as the the season went on, I I I, uh, I got used to it, man. And then it, it becomes second nature, dude. Absolutely. I'm gonna get a little deep and philosophical on you now with this question. Let's go. Let's go. You said that you're grinding it out as a theater actor. You land yeah. Diego Kotenmoff on stars, uh, um, on stars and heels with Stephen Amell and Alexander Ludwig. People yeah. are going to see you. You have a good amount of screen time. You are kind of still grinding and auditioning and doing the tapes and everything. People are going to see you on the show. They're going to look up to you and say, I one day want to maybe have a role like Robbie Ramos in heels and work like that. But at the same time, you're also kind of learning and going and continue the grind and looking up to people as well. So you're kind of in, in the middle. You're like a middleman. Have you ever thought about that? Because that's a very unique situation that Robbie Ramos is currently in, in his professional acting career. <laughs> Pete, good, good observation, brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, 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 you're spot on, dude. You know, I was, I was learning throughout this entire process, man. Um, Mostly how to work on screen, you know, because yeah. I have been working on stage, but there's a slight little kind of change that you got to make. And most of it is mental, too, but it's kind of a little change. And so um, being in this position was was amazing to yep. somebody like Chris Bauer, you know, um, to be in the same. Again, so good. Sorry. <laughs> so freaking good, dude, and his character of Wild Bill, you know, it's like it's legendary. Dude. Yeah. And Mary McCormick. Right. And so. You know, being being in the room with these people is is a dream come true, man, for me, honestly. You know, this is my first real big uh, TV gig, and, and it's been nothing short of amazing, bro. If you talk to Mary McCormick, you have to tell her that she's in one of my favorite movies of all time called Mystery Alaska with Russell Crowe. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. It's no. so good. It's, no doubt. No doubt. It, it's no doubt. amazing. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, absolutely – Interesting, because we got a little bit of a hydro. We got a little bit of a two-headed monster with heels on stars. Because in one regard, it is about pro wrestling. In the other side of things, it's not about pro wrestling. It's about human beings. It's about finding yourself. It's about all these relationships and turmoil happening in the small sit town of Duffy, Atlanta. Diving yes. deep into it after working on it, after going to the premiere, when people get to watch the show on stars, what are you hoping they get out of it? Man, the wrestling fans like you, I hope you guys feel like we we did it justice. Yep. And then, you know, the people that that are that might be watching that aren't wrestling fans, um, I hope they 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 leave with um, with a sense of uh, that they can connect with some character in the show. Yeah. Um, I, I really feel like there, there's somebody for everybody on the show. 
Um, we were we were talking before <laughs> Pete, and some of the characters you you didn't like, and some of you some of them you did. You yeah. Know? So that that kind of thing is going to be interesting, and and I think worthwhile for me because you know you don't want to watch a show and you love every character. Like you're gonna you gotta get into the story, and maybe you dislike this character or you love to hate him, right? But that's the that's point, right? Like you're like the antagonists, right? But yeah. people are gonna see in this. There is very complex characters in terms of, and it's the same thing in professional wrestling, where the anti-hero, you don't know if they're the good guy, you don't know if they're the bad guy. And very I think true. Heels does a very good job you know, with that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I and agree, yeah. they're, they're going to be able to see that. Um, a lot of the people in this show, you had yeah. double stunt doubles, but a lot of you did your own stunts. Did you do some of your stunts or did your double take care of most of them? Yeah, no, I, I did some of them, man. So so there's – you've seen the show, but there, there's a Vader bomb that we do. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember that? Yeah. So <laughs> so they, they had me practice that, dude. And then thank God I had my stunt double and that whole stunt team who was exceptional, man. My stunt double, uh, Zane Riley, you know, he, he's a wrestler and and he gets out there and he, and he does work, man. He's just – He's so exciting to watch, man. The few times I saw him, um, uh, he he was just recently uh, at, at uh, Luke Cox. Do you know Luke? Yeah, Cox? yeah, yep, yeah. Uh, at the Wildcat um, uh, Wrestling League, and 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 they they had a thing, they had a match, man. It was it was just exciting to watch. So for me, man, it, a lot of times I did kind of leave it up to him because he's so good, dude. Yeah. And, and wearing a mask, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm not going to do some ego trip where, no, I got to, you know, be the guy that's out there doing it. Like if he's going to, if he's going to deliver it better then that's the guy who's got to do it. I mean, that's his job. Absolutely. Like, no, it's great. It's times where, you know, I might've not been wearing the mask or whatever and I got to do it. Then, you know, let's step up and do it. Absolutely. And then also, there's also a part in there where I like, I, I'm a showman, dude. Yeah. I, I like the stage. So, when when I was able to go up there and and you know be pounding my chest and people throwing shit at me from the stands, I I got jazzed up by that dude. So so there were, were some things that I wanted to be out there for, but then there was more technical stuff that you know I, I left it to Zane man and he did a great job. I again not a spoiler because it's the first episode, but I just love when when Rooster and uh, Bill uh, Bobby are in the ring and he does the elbow drop. I mean. Diego's yeah. just cool, whole like demeanor and vibe. Hashtag not <laughs> yeah, impressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not impressed. Like not impressed at all. Right, right. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be able to see it. Robbie, yeah. thank you. I almost called you Diego for a second there. Uh, I almost no worries, said dude. Diego. <laughs> Robbie, yeah. Robbie Ramos, thank you so much for your time, man. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Pete. You're really good at this, brother. So keep doing it. I appreciate it. Okay, so stars uh, on stars heels August fifteenth, and then an episode every week, eight episodes total. And yeah. um, where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? At the Robbie Ramos. Oh, and and one thing I do want to tell your viewers, man. Yeah. So I I uh, I'm doing a podcast called Dropping Characters. I saw that. I can't wait yeah. for that to start. I'm like, you're gonna get some guests on there too. Oh yeah, man. So so this is an exclusive for you guys, bro. Um, I'm gonna have CM Punk on, dude. Yeah. You know, yes. We talk, about, we talk about a lot of things, man. The pipe bomb incident. We talk. We talk. We touch on. You know his his relationship with the wrestlers uh, behind the scenes there at WWE and how he made it up the ranks. Um, so I think you, Pete, you'll 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 be interested in that, man. I hope you tune in, dude. I will, of course. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn previous episodes. Until next time, this is Rob Ramos, who plays Dio Cottonmouth in Heels on Stars and PD Beats, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turn it Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.